But when it runs, it would freak you out. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes that sound, bro. Let's do that again. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Cancel Podcast. My name is Bardia. I'm here with Faisal. Hey guys. And Kurosh. What's up? And also for today, we have a special guest, Ibrahim. Yes, sir. Also known as Ibrahim K.A. Yes, sir. Ibrahim, Ibrahim underscore K.A. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. yes. And or E.K.A. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself. <laughs> yeah. Ibrahim K.A. One of the biggest. Influences in UAE, one of the <laughs> biggest said, reps. Introduce yourself. And put your hand <laughs> yeah, down. No, no. You can't say that about yourself, so I gotta say it for you. You know, yeah, okay. uh, one of the biggest people repping for UAE, defending UAE in a lot of situations when UAE is misrepresented. Uh, bef- from what I've yeah, seen from before, your content yeah, in the yeah. past, yeah, in the past, exactly. Well, one of the accounts with the most terrifying stories I've heard in my life, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> more recently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but also a family member to phase out. Yes, I am. Yeah. My cousin. Yeah, so uh, welcome to the podcast. Thank We're you. really Thank glad you to have me. you here. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys want to jump right into it or what do you want to do? Should I get right into my questions? You can just get <laughs> right in. All right. So do you want to give any background? I haven't background? even been told the questions. No, no. We, it's not scripted. We're you not going to prepare like, you. <laughs> yeah, where's the fun in that? <laughs> okay. So the first one is, do you believe in the afterlife? <laughs> <laughs> Second is... Uh, Rights. What kind of rights are there? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the 72 genders? <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> We're cutting that. <laughs> We're not it's going to be start a very <laughs> quick podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Finish. Let's yeah. Yeah. No, so uh, I want to first, for the people who don't know, majority of people do, but for the few that don't, give us a bit of like a history on you. Born and raised in UAE. Mm-hmm. And uh, university, did you go to university? I here? did, yeah. Uh, I went to HCT. Okay. Uh, I studied accounting and finance. Mm. It's something that I always say. I repeat the same stories on the whole yeah. on, on the podcast. But yeah, I studied accounting and finance. I was an auditor, so I was in this financial field. And then I left. Then I became. I started doing TikToks, and that's how I started going into the content creation yes. industry. So I was going back on your content. Yeah. And the first videos I could find was you were doing this uh, vlog style videos with your. Uh, what was it? <laughs> bro, he did research. He dug deep, he bro. Did, I have a whole did. life story here. When were you born? <laughs> What's your favorite color right now? <laughs> yeah, so you're doing these vlog styles yeah. from what I, I only saw a couple, but then after you switch to more, uh, well, first start with cars and all of that. But yeah. what I want to know is what got you interested in getting into the social media game or sharing your life online? So. Uh, the the vlogs thing started way way when i was like uh i'd say first year in university so i was okay. already like 18 or something i always liked to speak to the camera i was i was always uh camera friendly and it was just i don't know it was just like a thing i i always wanted to do this i always wanted to create videos and i started off with windows movie maker hmm. you know? remember that yeah Back in uh, the day. Yeah, and editing of pictures with Microsoft Paint or like you know, like, <laughs> oh, damn, man. like I was That's hard, yeah, man. It was it was that long ago, and um, I just stopped because the vlogs never worked out. Mm. And then I heard about TikTok, which is something that you can always go viral on very easily. You're pretty if, early on TikTok. I started early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I started early, and I started at the perfect time during COVID. Mm. And it just worked out. The government media office contacted me and they said, you know, your stuff is good. Come and work for us. Let's all create videos together. And that's how I picked up. Mm. And when you got into it, did, were you thinking about like, oh, this is the niche I'm interested in going in? Or, Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't mean in, the, in terms of social media. Like if you look at your profile now, it has a certain theme to it. Like the themes has changed over the years. It does, yeah. It was, it was first... You're like with car content, then it was UAE related, then the scary story. I mean, generally, it all falls under the same theme informative, mm. uh, yeah, it's, it's tensed, conspiracy, scary, yeah. Too scary. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that, <laughs> we'll get to that for sure. <laughs> like, I'm actually very curious about it. But I would honestly say that in the beginning, it was more inform- informative, it because still is a lot of uh, still a lot of recent posts are informative because yeah, rather yeah. than it being scary, like if you, you see a lot of cheap videos going out on TikTok where it's a jump scare or something, no, like no, no, it's no, more no. Of a, I don't mean scary like that, by the way. Oh, no, no, just I'm, to I'm, just, to, I'm yeah. just clarifying that 
what I see from your content and what I've seen from the evolution of it, it's always, you've always had this knack. And you know, they say that, you know, anyone can do a video, but people who have a clear voice and are able to convey an idea, you have that, which is something that's natural and you can't really grow it at mm. home, you know? So I've always seen that your theme has always been to be a narrative, like an informative narrative. Yes. You know, and, and one of the biggest ones I, I thought that was really good was when you were sort of calling out the fake news. Yes. Which, yeah. I mean, TikTok and such had such a big um, market of just showing fake news. Fake news, yeah. There was a so, lot of it. There was the, the videos I've seen of you beforehand. It was the porta potty one. Yeah, there was yeah. about the workers here and yeah. people complaining about certain things that on a seat there wasn't much and of I, had to, I had to jump into clarification I mean you, you could just ask Faisal the questions about me he's he's answering better than me <laughs> <laughs> about me <laughs> sorry Faisal <what> <laughs> as his <laughs> spokesperson I'd like to say <laughs> no but as a content creator obviously we're new to this this is episode 24 I think yeah. so this is a whole new world to us and I don't know how much you want to get into this but as someone who's matured in this market and obviously you reach success I want to ask you about this mainly because I've seen this with like uh beginner content creators a lot is that obviously the algorithm there's a way to it but it's not always predictable yes and you see this with a lot of new content creator including us is like some clips you put so much effort into it and it doesn't do nearly as well as the clips that you barely put any effort into it i noticed that yeah yeah a lot of videos so a lot of that is like it kills your soul a little bit especially in the beginning yeah but i want to ask you because i didn't see you talk about this in other interviews like how do you deal with like the mental aspect of regardless if it's like positive comments negative comments views all of that like over the years have you adapted to it does it still affect you like if you can go a bit into that because i don't think people see that side of the social media game as someone who's a content creator i mean as content creators we have this word that we call shadow ban you know right yeah. in technical terms TikTok does not refer to as that as a word Mm -hmm. in the company but we know what shadow bans a post when you make an ad for someone or for a product or for a company no matter how much effort you put into the video it won't work out there will not be any algorithm that will operate the video the other thing is when you talk politics things against china things against lgbt things against feminism or things about um, the animal rights movement. Mm. One of these, like any type of movement, any political movement, yeah. Mm. And I think that's, these are the only things that will not make a video do well. And it's also the types of audience you have. So for example, if I posted a video about makeup, Nobody would be interested. It will not get any views because my followers did not follow me for that. Your demograph, yeah, your demograph is off. Yeah, so the the TikTok AI recognizes what things you post and actually also reads the things you say, mm-hmm. and it pretty much picks up like um, keywords. Yeah, keywords that are bad. You know, like when you mention like the movements, for example, it would it would pick it up and it would shadow ban the post, and it would be sent on the review. And it might be taken down or they might approve it. So we so actually, have that, actually yeah, had that problem. It's actually more controlled than YouTube. It's, it is actually more controlled. It was as controlled as Twitter before Elon Musk bought the company. Oh, yeah. Then that changed the whole game. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's yeah. A whole, one of the reasons he did that because, like, at the yeah. same time, there were some stuff that were getting filtered on Twitter. Yeah. But at the same time, there were things that were getting through that word of fake news and it was still getting pushed. Yeah. So when Elon Musk bought it, like even the case files of like how the filtration was supposed, like it was instructed to be done by Twitter. It was very like left leaning. No, even a lot like of the policies. Remember the FBI cases that they got exposed, like in the emails that oh, were around the election stuff. Yeah, but it was saying that like these were the instructions sent to Twitter, boost this, yeah, uh, bring this down, like stuff like this. You're going to say something. No, no, which, I mean, you know, Ibrahim, you saying that is a very good point, right? And, you know, they always say, I've seen from other content creators that they mention that you say something wrong and you get sent to the shadow realm, which is the shadow ban realm. Yeah. Where your video won't be taken down, but it's sort of like parked in a realm where there's no people watching it or something like that. Yeah. 
And based on from what I've seen from your content, you don't tend to lean down the sort of narrative of everyone's cup of tea. You're always kind of, you park yourself in a way that has the difficult question, right? So let's say you're doing a video about, um, you know, a, a potty video of the UAE or labor laws or something like that. You know, the, the majority tend to be against it because they don't know it. And they say, yeah, you know, Qatar has done this bad. Qatar has done this. LGBTQT in that one, you know. <laughs> QT. <laughs> QT? Is, is it correct? No, no it's CQ. Oh, fucking... <laughs> A, B, C, D, A, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. but the idea is, why do you think you yourself have not been, you know, shadow banned in that sense? Because you've gone against the norm. Oh, bro, I have been shadow banned. You Maybe, have? Yeah. I've okay. Been, I've been shadow banned yesterday with something I try to post. So it Happens at least once a week. So it's a video. It's not the profile. It's a video that you post. Yeah. So so your your profile wouldn't be shadow banned. Rather, it's the specific videos, you say. Anything I create about the LGBT. QT. QT, yeah. Uh, it's cuter. We'll get... It's, cuter. it's much <laughs> it's cuter. Actually cuter. The cuties. Yeah. <laughs> it, will, it, will, it, will be, it will be sent to re under review and it will be taken down. Every single one. If mm. I criticize them, the like it was Slightest. something so like innocent, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'd say, no, I think their flag doesn't look nice. Boom, taken down. Mm. Well, Disrespect, bullying, harassment. That's the reason. Mm. And you would never know about it because you end up not seeing it because the algorithm doesn't show it You know it what pisses you. me off? There are videos of people pissing on Bibles and Qurans. They keep them. But as, as, as soon as you talk about gay people, they take every day. No, down. no, but that's the thing, right? So, so that's what I'm saying. So it's like TikTok, Twitter, and all this. It's like a living organism that sees what's trending, right? And sort of moves with that rather than like, okay, you, you, you make an example of the Quran and stuff like that. In Netherlands and all these places, they burn them every other week. But it's never put in the news. You no. know what I mean? You yeah. always have these people that... Uh, I recently was watching, and you know, my girlfriend's from the Netherlands. So there was farmers that were burning it and just throwing it like in front of the, uh, the streets and stuff like that. But it won't go up. Yeah, but you, know? you have to think about it. Like in terms of what you said, like if you, you know insult the cuties and then compare compare it to the the other <laughs> stuff I'm trademarking that the <laughs> it's it's what <laughs> coined <laughs> it's i don't the, think you're gonna come off right if you start calling them the cuties <laughs> i think they think you're part get of out the of movement. your cutie like <laughs> whoa whoa bro, mixed messages bro <laughs> like, always change the game get out <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I was saying that like it's also the norm and the the social like kind of hype of it. Yeah. So right now everyone's protecting that sort of category of people, and in that sense, like obviously the a platform so like with so many followers, in, not just you in general, yeah. is obviously gonna take the side that's mostly followed. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Not a lot of people are gonna be if a in a term of religious way something bad happens right. not a lot of people will be as enraged than than the if someone says calls like a qt effect you know so like Jesus, that's, bro. No, I'm, no i'm just saying in general like that's that's i <laughs> so that that's what i mean this not should not be clipped on tiktok but like that's what i mean so that that's not what's gonna make people enraged you know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah, so yeah. Probably that's why the platform is always, always going to take the other side. No, see, if we make this a clip, it will actually be okay. Because he's just speaking in a point of view. I didn't laugh at that. I just wasn't expecting that to come out to me. <laughs> yeah, because he was using, I don't know. He was using cutie the whole time and then just hit us with it. was like all like educational, cutie, like politically yeah. correct. And then bam, <laughs> like right in the middle of that. No, but that's very interesting. Like it's, it's funny that you, you know, the, the saying is, you know, you always see someone's successes. You never see the failures. So... You have all these videos that come out that do very well, and then you you don't tell you don't tell anyone about the ones that also location, also location. Uh, in the in Western countries, you're allowed to if if you're a girl, you're allowed to post a TikTok wearing a bikini, and TikTok Mina would be immediately taken down. Really, it's not allowed to show cleavage, bro. Just cleavage. It's oh, not allowed. So we have regional. different policies. Yeah, they have different. Pro yeah, really uh, regions. I mean, in terms of the algorithm, how everyone's targeted, like Western MENA region, however it is, even like I was reading this when the the house was trying to like ban TikTok for in the States, 
they were saying like in China, for example, how the algorithm is constructed and how everyone's targeted is always just educational. Like yeah. no one goes on TikTok and sees the new trendy dance. In whatever, China? In yeah. China. TikTok doesn't work in China. It's it's a different version is from it, what, what oh, I yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. From, it's from like, the chairman said, he said TikTok is completely different in China because they were calling it out. They it's were like, either educational or nationalistic posts. Yeah, and That's uh, there's like a curfew on it. Like after a certain time, you can <laughs> use the app so the kids don't get addicted to it. Oh, and really? It's all just to like. Bro, Google give it was it. Did you see the Congress? Did you see the whole video? Oh, that was uh, yeah, that was very. Wait, funny. which one? It was very nice. When they were talking to that gentleman, the one who was the CEO, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. CEO yeah. or the founder, right? Who was the founder? No, CEO, CEO. And and it was just a bunch of very Karen-looking women going like, <laughs> <laughs> like every time he's sure. talking, they're like. You, you're owned by China, right? And he goes, no, technically a company that works with us is specifically one of the shareholders. Bro, at least they had some answers. The one when they brought Mark and Zuckerberg on. And Biden looking men as well, you know? But, oh, oh, yeah. Seriously. All of them, right? I don't know. But when they... <laughs> you know what I mean? Biden, I don't think Biden knows where he is. Did you see him step on the cat? I've yeah, seen him do many days things. Ago, he steps on a cat. And <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him do many things, man. There was this one actor who won a... Oscar, right? Yeah. And the guy runs to me, goes, Mr. President. And the guy goes, who's this guy? <laughs> like, he like, where am I? <laughs> he goes like, who the hell is this guy? And like, everyone thinks he's joking, but he te- he genuinely <laughs> looks terrified. He's like, how do you get past my security, you know? I love that you're Biden and Sean Connery are very similar. No, no, no. <laughs> Sean Connery is completely you. different. Like, just... But uh, anyways, back to you as an individual. Forget the TikTok stuff. Oh, why back to me, man? No, no because, because we'll, we'll cover this and then we okay. start. Yeah, we want to give, subject, like, a, like, get people to know so you a humble, bit. So humble, so humble. It's not about me, man. <laughs> it's about it's, us. It's about the content. No, but it's honestly, this message. is because I, I watched some of the podcasts you were on. And these were questions that like I, I thought like I, I didn't get an answer from it. So you talked about, uh, even now today, you said that uh, you have a certain niche, for example, and you're trying to like cater those like your content to that niche because otherwise the algorithm doesn't pick it up, and also that's what you're known for, right? Yeah. But obviously, everyone has different interests, and maybe not all of them are in the niches. I want to know what are like some of your interests that you don't sh- like. Maybe you don't post about it because it's not like with your niche, but some of the other stuff about you, so we get to know you on like a deeper level. Like hobbies, whatever, whatever you're into. Well, I play you- music. This is something that people don't know about me. I play three instruments professionally. I play uh, piano. I play oud, the Arabic, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle Eastern, Turkish uh, guitar with the 12 strings. And I play uh, drums. Shit. I've been playing drums since I was like six. Yeah. We should get him to make a soundtrack for, for the podcast. He's also not <laughs> telling you that he also has a musical ear. So he can hear something. At one time and me, then play yeah, it to you. Play oh, it, man, yeah. I wish I had That's that. really cool, man. So That's bad. really impressive, honestly. Wait, did you hear me play? Uh, when we went to the barbecue, yeah. He was, I was sitting oh, down yeah, and he goes, yeah, Face yeah. Out, tell me any song. And I'm like, <laughs> and at that moment, I forgot every song. I'm like, could you play Beethoven's Sixth Symphony? <laughs> I was like, no, could you play like, I, I said, Coldplay or something? Men. <laughs> I, I picked every song with no piano. <laughs> and then I picked one and he goes, dun, dun, and he started playing it. And, uh, to be honest, I didn't think people like that are real. Like, you know, to be <laughs> able to your movies, ear yeah. to automatically adjust and stuff like that. I'm like, dude, that's that's like yeah. hacking. What's that? What's that artist's name? I was just going to say, it was only one. Charlie something, right? Charlie, Charlie Puth. Puth. Yeah, Charlie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, Charlie <laughs> Puth. No, no, no. But no, no. <laughs> no, this guy's on another level. Oh, so he's crazy. Like, when another you said level. that, that's the only person I could think of because I was bro, like, I've never seen that. In- he held a glass and he did this. Yeah. He knows what he knows. He knows that the note. note. Yeah, he yeah. knows the you, note. You, you I see it. His tic, I think it's, it's his either TikTok or Instagram. It's all posts like this. He just makes a song out of nowhere in like one minute. He doesn't need money anymore. Do you know that he? So he, before he was a singer, he was actually a songwriter and a sound producer for um, what's what's that, what's that woman's name? The Taylor Swift. All these kind of people. So he was doing that for them, and then decided, you know what? I can make my own music. And now he just sits at home, makes TikToks, and makes a lot of money out of that. Honestly, he's very talented. Like from the things I've seen, like he clicks the fucking light on and off, and records the Charlie sound. Charlie Puth is insane. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, uh, I remember. I really wanted to play piano because I saw also a video of a person listening to 
What was that song with Light Incomplete by uh, Backstreet Boys? Backstreet Boys, like someone's listening <laughs> to it and doing the piano. I was like, that's such a dope way of doing it. Like just listening, that's the talent, man. That's I don't know, I don't know, know about you, but the I piano guess. just gives it a more emotional vibe. Yeah. Like violin create, and piano, I think those are the yes, two create, instruments. Yeah, recreate there. any song and to make it sad. In or high emotional, school. touchy, slow, you know? <laughs> in high school, we had to take piano lessons. Well, we had to take music as like part of the high school yeah. criteria. And I had to take piano <laughs> the whole year. I was trying to learn one song because I didn't know how to read notes. I was so bad at it, man. Never touched a piano since I was then. just memorizing we what I was yeah, yeah. You know, we're like... Yeah. You guys, are, you guys are lucky. I don't know what kind of schools you went to. In my school, if you didn't get stabbed, it's like a, that was a good extracurricular We went to the same school, man. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's in, bro, when no, I was there. No, not university. Like, School. Oh, you went, you no, went to I Milwaukee also? I went to Milwaukee as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Before I joined. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what year did you graduate? Uh, 15. 15, yeah. With me? Which Milwaukee? Barsha. Same. What? Yeah. But you didn't graduate from Milwaukee. No, Say I only that was part. the great. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Yo, relax. I was there. Hey, you're such a friend now. Nine. <laughs> grade 9 and then 10, 11, 12, I was with him. Gems World Academy. So you were in the same grade 9 I was? Yeah. Or oh, you were probably in another section? Pro, I mean, the did Iranian Rudolph teach you English? Yeah, of course, man. Then you were in D. N no, Rudolph didn't only. No, he only did D. So no, he did class yes. for Locals were in D. E. What kind of Locals segregation? Were in e. <laughs> Locals were in it's E. Like prison, oh, shit, maybe I was. <laughs> I was in E. I I was with Sharia. Remember you were Sharia? Sharia? Yeah, the tall guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Yeah, He's yeah. In D. Shit, I, we're in the same class. He gave me the D too. Like, <laughs> no, you were with Sharia in his class. In his class. I think he was in D. It was in D? Yeah. Shit, so we're in Bro, we're talking class. about people. <laughs> Bro, it yeah. sounds like prison. Like, you were in block E or was it block D? Like, <laughs> That's how we were separated. You used to gang was there. You, the you used to hang out with the locals? Yeah, I was with the Mexicans. So we, we hung out there. But we, yeah, I don't know. I, mean, it was, we don't I, I think one time you asked me, that guy, Bardia, I think I know him. You did look familiar in one of the podcasts, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, did, you, <laughs> did you look the same in high school? No, a lot skinnier. No. A lot, we're skinnier. <laughs> Very skinnier. Bro, you're skinnier already. Thank you, but uh, yeah, no, not as skinny was, as this. <laughs> no, but not as skinny as now. Like I was like oh, thin, thin. Oh, you were you were fat before. No, I was like thin, like skeleton thin. Oh, skeleton thin. Yeah, oh, yeah. he was so skinny. And he was so worried about it that one girl that he liked said that he's skinny. He was who depressed like? for a month and a half. Wait, who did you like? Did, was it a Moroccan girl he, too? No, no, no this is like later <laughs> on. He's all married now. This <laughs> the past in the past. <laughs> you gonna show this to Shahriar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I still hang out long with the Moroccan people. Bro. I still hang up with the Milwaukee people, like Ruzba and all. They're still like one of my closest friends. Ruzba, I've seen him a few months ago in a yeah. in a in a reunion in, at a at a guy's farm, Sultan Janahi. I remember the last name. Bro, we're mentioning so all much I know the last names. You, I, we had the Janahi in our school. Like I think every class had a Janahi. <laughs> Anyways, good. Let's talk about people. That, like let's yeah, talk about but shit people, that people like our audience know. <laughs> don't know. Yeah. That. Are you guys related? No. no, other than from the same country, not much more than that. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, no. If you dig uh. deep enough, we're all from Iran. Like it's <laughs> what are you saying? You all. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like the British loyal family. <laughs> <laughs> There's like three incest. They're all like. Abbas. Abbas. It's Irani also. That's the Prophet's uncle. There's also Abbas in Iran. It's a, There's, it's a, There's it's plenty a of buses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can I get to my question? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I promise this is the last question about you, then we can go into our normal stuff. So, I mean, not recently, but in the past couple of months, you've uh, posted a lot about horror stories that either fans have sent you or mm. you found yourself. Yeah. But well, there's actually two questions there. One is, I want to know, obviously there's some stories that are true and some people are just have issues. They see stuff or they make up stories and all of that. I want to know, do you have like a vetting process that like, you put the stories through, like how how do you get to the final decision of this story is good for posting, this is not worth it? So obviously I would I would look at who is talking to me, you know, initially. Yeah. I would look up, I would do, I would dig, I would do some research. I'd stalk their page. I have to, you know. If it was like a private profile, I can't even see how they look like, I can't see their name, I wouldn't use their story. Because they could be trolling. They could be just they could have just made, no matter how good the story is. I wouldn't use it. If it was like, most of the stories come from like parents, like actual like old people, people that are in their like late 30s, early 40s. I look at their page, their family, you know, like the it's the father that submitted the story. He has kids, he has a family, he has a job, like I can see his lifestyle. Um, I ask him more questions and then his answers add up and then I believe it. 
and I make it a story. I script it and I make it a story. Right, right. Okay, so my other question was, I don't think in any of the videos you've talked about, you, you, like your personal beliefs on like either if it's ghosts, like all of that, like yeah. all that category of, I guess you can call it supernatural. Mm. Like, what do you personally believe on it? Uh, what's your personal beliefs are on it? Have you had any experiences yourself? Yeah, of course. Like horror yeah. stories, like any anything I like that? Yeah, I definitely believe in... <laughs> I believe in jinns. I believe in demons. I believe in shaitans. I believe in all of that, of course. Okay, and do you, have you had any, like, freaky experiences with them? Why are you laughing? <laughs> because it's so freaky. As in, yeah. like, yeah, you got down and dirty with it. Like, that's not the best way to say it. Like, I, I I'm not saying he had a threesome with a ghost. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> why are there three? <laughs> yeah, why three? I don't know. <laughs> the left and the right. It's like, it's like if you went into a house, hey, there's three of us? Let's start this party, you know? It's, I know why he giggled. He giggled because he doesn't believe in... Faisal does not believe in ghosts. No, it's... Actually, we have something that we need your judgment on after this, okay, after okay. you answer this question and relates to okay. Faisal. I have. I've talked about this uh, a couple, multiple times, you know. I've talked about uh, the experiences that I had. Okay. They're not... I've, obviously, I, I couldn't see one right in front of me. I couldn't see a ghost to prove that that could have been a ghost. Could have been a coincidence. Could have been... Me, I don't know, imagining, but I definitely felt presence before. I saw one story you talked about on, I, I'm sorry if I'm getting the name wrong, but I think it was called Pod Eye Podcast. Pod's Eye. Pod's Eye. Yeah. Guys, go check it out. It's a great podcast. And also you share this great, great story of yeah, thank you. how you think. I mean, you can't prove it, but. <laughs> There's some weird stuff that happened that yeah. you ended up going to the hospital all of that. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want you to repeat that. But the reason I bring this up is Faiza really insists we should go to a haunted house, a proven haunted house. And I heard this story that in haunt in general, gens or ghosts they can attach themselves to you. Expose. And uh, expose. Um, what's the word? Uh, he's talking about possessed. Possessed, yeah. yeah. Possessed. That come with you and then cause harm to your loved ones, your wife, kids, whatever yeah. it is. And for that reason, Bardi and I don't want to go. Oh, now but you change it. You were like, oh, yeah, the no, boy doesn't want to go. After I saw his content, I'm like, I don't want to do it. But <laughs> Faisal doesn't believe us and he causes pussies for not wanting to go. Do so you guys believe in them? Bardi, uh, I don't I was... personally believe in them, but I say that even if there's 0.001% chance that they exist, I don't want to take the chance. Why? What, what do I have to gain? See... The thing is that I always think that there's always a logical explanation to anything that a lot of people have encountered, majority of people, not like every case. Sometimes like you really can't explain it without, you know, but at the same time, I'm a person who believes like other realities and all these stuff. So I can't just be like, I believe in every, like so many other stuff that are not 100% proven but I, I won't believe in this. So I'll leave some room for like belief in it, but I won't actively be like, I'm not saying in your case or like a lot of people case, but like some people tend to always relate things like any sort of bad, uh, like bad things happening to a bad omen or something related to a ghost and stuff. I'm not a person like that. Like I don't believe in like, even like when it comes to living luck, I don't, I'm not a big believer on that part. I think there's most of the time there is that logical explanations. Like think about it like this, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, people who lived in houses, the bathroom was outside of the house. So when they went to the went outside and something happened, some leaves like made sound and stuff, they came in the house and they said, this happened to me. And no one was like, oh, no, what, what do you mean by it? a breeze? You know, it was a breeze. So I'm not saying every time it's a breeze. You know, if you see it like you're like the dead grandma in the mirror, that's not a breeze. But like, I'm not saying the best, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Leaves to dead grandma on the mirror. <laughs> She's just, just standing there farting in the mirror. Like, look at me, I'm breezing, you know. What if I got you a real copy of that book and I told you to read it in the toilet? alone i'll read it with a candle lit and w look at yourself in the mirror like you and cannot go worse happen. than that like you are literally they are like <laughs> we made a new friend I'll all of them it. you're inviting everyone inside bro would you do it 
Wait, what would happen in that case? I don't know. Well, first, which book are you talking about? The worst there's, book. There's def- Shams al-Ma'arif. The book That's the one that you, made famous. you went to the hospital with one? Yeah. Okay, let me tell you something. I'm not saying, okay, there is that part of me. I'm like, mm, what if? So why the fuck would I expose myself to it, right? But there is something called the whole mind over body thing. You know, mass hysteria, the whole concept of it. So like, for example, if everyone is in a tense situation, which if you're encountering something that's presumed supernatural, okay, that's also already you have an assumption that it's a tense situation. Your body is stressed, the stress goes high and you're tense, okay? If your mind believes that certain like symptoms or s- factors were to play in, if I were to think that I'm going to get a rash on my hand, if I were to think of some other things that might happen, it can actually happen because it's mind over body. I'm not saying your your story is not true or I'm like, I don't believe in it, I'm going to do it. But I'm saying there's also, in my head, I'm thinking two ways. One, I'm going to see dead grandma in the mirror. Two, is that everything that I believe might actually happen will happen because my mind has the absolute power to make me feel symptoms. Mm. You know, I can like feel like I'm losing blood into my like fingers and like seeing something blue like my fingers going blue you should go to the doctor man no i'm not saying that happens to me on the regular no i just no no every morning is just the middle one (laughs) no no but but buddy uh, the middle one yeah why the middle one no i don't like everything (laughs) no no but i think what buddy is saying is you see like for me ibrahim believes that i don't believe in in the supernatural and such but Based on everything that's out there, I love your content. I I love looking at the what if scary stuff and stuff like that. But if you're talking about a book that has so much power, then why isn't it like Harry Potter out there? You no, have no. the mentors and you have this going around because no book one has no power. Hell go viral no, 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 if no, no, there's no. like certain reason that it ca- can cause harm. It's no, no, not but, put but, out. That, but that's the, the thing. book has no power. Mm-hmm. This book is just a book, papers and words and some instructional manual. It's a guide. It's a guideline. It is. Okay, the first three pages of this book are actually verses from the Quran. Mm-hmm. And the person who wrote this book is actually a religious Muslim. His name is Ahmed al-Buni and he was a, a, he was a Sufi, you know? He's a religious Muslim. He wrote this book. He wrote it. Is that why you're saying the bathroom thing? Because I've heard that you, you're not, you can't read yes. it. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you're literally doing a spell like that, you know? But reading the book... Because, okay, there are spells in the book that maybe there are things you cannot say out loud. Don't read them. Because in the book itself, there are names of actual jinns that exist. By saying their names, you call them. Johnny Two. <laughs> <laughs> Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, imagine. <laughs> Big Daddy shows up. It's like a, it's like a <laughs> nine foot jinn with like huge pecs. Yo. It was a joke. <laughs> no, no, but no, no, but Ibrahim, I get you. You know, you say it's just a book, right? But bro, uh, bro la la. But listen, yeah. <laughs> but listen, yeah. This big daddy. <laughs> Nobody said oh, that. Daddy. I would love it if you turn around right now. I was standing right. I swear, you. if the book was here and I went it's to the like, bathroom, it's like I can't. Look, you can joke about this. I can't really. No, no, this is dangerous. No, 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 no but I you doubt don't. there's a big daddy. I mean, look, I mean, there is no, but but like. Uh, you're mocking the wrong be people. Flattery, but like, no, look, I'll, I'll, I'll say something daddy. to you. Yeah? It's, it's not about mocking, okay? It's about, like you just said, it's a book and it has no power. The book doesn't have power, it's just words. But the also, words in them have power. No, no, power. but can I say something? Yeah. A power, book man. on how to build a bomb will still create a bomb, yeah. right? So when you're saying that, it's like, okay, people r- uh, find this book to be something that can create something, right? Yes. Or or makes, it's, it's the Ouija board, exactly the same. Yes. And, m- and my family have dealt with it. I had like you know cousins and stuff who've dealt with it. I, I'm not saying that you know it's. I personally don't believe it because I'm very strong into believing that I am religious and I believe there is a God. Yeah. If there is something who's so strong and this, why would I be affected by bad people trying to do harm on me? Why am I not protected by yeah, this? If if you're going based on the belief that this exists, but you're a good person and there's a God, like all of what you just said. If you're going seeking for it, 
then you're losing that protection that everyone else has because you're going looking for it. Yeah, I'm Look, so sorry. To, but we call it, what is, what is it called? The board? What is it? Ouija board. Ouija board. Imagine Ouija board. the ghost is dyslexic. So it doesn't even <laughs> give the right threatening message. You're all getting hunted today, man. <laughs> Get the fuck out I'm of my house. I'm going to lick you. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's going to kill you. Jesus, bro. You See, haven't seen enough go, of his content, okay? <laughs> Are you here? See. <laughs> what the f- See. The book. <laughs> Let him talk, man. Oh, <laughs> the book contains. Uh, what's the what's the right word? A recipe. Mm-hmm. It contains instructions. It's not a cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it can be instructions. Instructions. Well. instructions. Yeah, instructions. Gotcha. It contains uh, obviously some chapters, not the whole book. In some chapters, there are instructions on how to do specific rituals. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's it. That's what makes the book powerful. Like. For example, a book that explains how you can make bombs at home. Very, very dangerous book, right? That's this very, that's very this racist, Ibrahim, because I'm, I'm an Arab. You had to say a bomb? Bro, we are all included You're the in that one class. Who brought okay? it up, Let's not bring way. that up. We're all it included. Is, right? We, do, <laughs> brought it up. we can cut it in the way that made him say it. Like he said it. <laughs> you guys don't get deported. We do, okay? Let's change the topic. No, no, no. We, I mean, you use that as an example. Right? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, this is dangerous. That type of book is dangerous. And Shams al-Ma'arif is as dangerous because it has instructions on how you can do dangerous things. And that's why it's banned. It's actually banned like by law in Saudi Arabia, in the UAE, in Qatar, in Kuwait, in Bahrain, in Oman. Oman, I don't know, actually. I've heard... I've heard, I've heard Omanis are kind of... I've, I've heard Oman has, like, they're yeah, very big into... They're like the Las Vegas of magic. witches... I want to say that. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> no, no, I mean it's in like they have conventions and stuff. Like I had a I had a guy who was a friend that apparently it's, a, it's not Comic Con. Like, no, hey. <laughs> it's literally like that. <laughs> you know, you can actually get deported for speaking about a GCC country, right? Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just> Fuck. <laughs> Don't joke about these stuff. Man. Like, I, I was I was thinking because I'm the one who said it. I'm like, where am I gonna go? Like, <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, but hey, you're fine, man. No, no, but you didn't say anything. I'm saying, so I'm like, is taking you there. <laughs> no, no, but I had a friend who was like, you know, he was chilling with some guy, and out of nowhere, the guy's mom, the the guy was talking about the my friend on the phone to the mom, and he's like, oh, you should bring him to Oman. Uh, to our village and stuff like that and let him stay with us for a couple days. I heard so much about that. Shit. We can heal people, they tell you. Yeah. You bring them, they take you to the desert, they put you in a circle okay. and they do some rituals. I don't know what, what they mean, it? how they do them, but I have seen stuff like that. I've heard stories like this. I've heard about this in Morocco. I went to Morocco for a wedding and they told me, I forgot what city it was, but that city, there's a specific street don't go down that street They're like it's all black magic related like anyone that goes there doesn't come back happy so you believe so, in black magic i yeah i don't you don't know but anyways the the bottom of the story is he wants to take us to a haunted house we don't want to go he doesn't believe us for so can well, you please did me a favor like my wife Watch the clip and everything. And now she's like, not nah, it's not happening because she's very religious and she believes in it. She's like, what about happening. voodoo dolls? Don't you believe that these voodoo dolls, like when they prick you on, like they prick the doll on the hand? And that one I'd like to see pain. example. I but not on I, me. No, no. But can I ask you a question? <laughs> 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 no, but if you guys, you see, you, if if you guys keep talking about this and you say, oh, what do you think about this? Why is there no actual footage? Like actual footage? Like have you seen these shows in America? A bunch of really burly guys going around, but like, listen here, we're gonna get and do this house. Apparently, thirty people have died in here, and then every activity that happened managed to happen off camera when the house was full with 45 cameras at all different angles. Listen, I'm a videographer. I understand this. But uh, my thinking is, if there's a 0.000001% chance that this could happen 1% of the time, I don't want to risk that. I have a good life. I'm happy the way it is. This doesn't, like, going to a haunted house, and if nothing happens to me, nothing gets added to my life. I just went to a house and slept there. And if something happens to me, then... Fuck, I don't want that to happen. Like, it just the, uh, what do you say? Like, the benefit of it is, is not that great. So, to do me. one thing then. Look at the probability of you dying from internal combustion <laughs> and you dying from a ghost. I had a burrito the other day. <laughs> <laughs> the the higher chance, other uh, day? <laughs> a higher chance. You know, like, or there's even a higher chance of you, and I've said it before, getting killed by a coconut. Like, imagine going that way. 
yeah. That one you wouldn't I'm... be scared of ghosts and stuff like that. Faisal, but... you talked about footage. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of this Netflix documentary called 28 Days Haunted? Oh, it's the one that you go to three haunted houses. Three, ha three or four. No. Were they three or four? I don't I, know. I, don't I haven't know. watched. What is it? I think they're four. 28 Days Haunted. No, no. Days. What's the story? It's a documentary. Six episodes. Six or seven episodes. Three teams go to the most haunted places in different states. Yeah. All at the same time. And... You good? <laughs> yeah, I that it. was a spirit. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and they show you actual footage. Actual footage of things happening. Things moving around. Like, they went to this room, apparently, where a lot of people were killed or something like that. And when they left that room, this was one of the episodes, they were inside a place with all closed windows. There were no breeze. There was nothing. Yeah? And in that big hall, there were a lot of cabinets and drawers. They went in for a few minutes, went out, Every single drawer and cabinet was opened. Everything was just opened. Because it does not have OCD. They had a camera, sure, like. so they set up the whole place with cameras, right? They can't go with a big camera crew inside. Yeah. They they replayed that part when they were inside. What happened? How did this happen? You see them all opening slowly at the same time. All the drawers coming out, all the doors opening. Can, okay. can you get that scene? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yes. Yeah, so copyright show, we can show show it. You can show that, you can show that two clip. seconds. Yeah, we can yeah, just yeah. show like the slow. Yeah, maybe speed it up so, if it's that slow. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> now people like you would say, but they could have faked it, right? But how much is fake? How much is everything we see fake? Like, no. is nothing real? No, I'm not saying because that. there are a lot of clips, right? Yeah, but that's that's the part, man. And like, every time I would comes, I would argue about the lemon. The lemon glitch. What? The lemon Is glitch? everything fake? Is I mean, bro, honest. Okay. That's about a good that one. That's a really about good one. that video. How do you explain that, bro? Wait, hold up. What? You so okay. Give me a little yeah, give us a okay. Yeah. Let, 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 okay. context. There's a video okay. of a girl called the lemon glitch girl. It's a girl that works in her family business. She works as a cook in the kitchen. Okay. She brought, I think, like a, a few lemons. She cut one of the lemons and then she took one half and cut it in half. You saw, you see her cutting in half. It was a sharp knife. It goes through and you see the lemon kind of split from both sides. You know it's cut in half. She goes to the sink to do something. She goes back to the lemon. It was perfectly attached. It was not cut. She looks at it. She goes like, it's, by the way, it's CCTV. Yeah, footage. she's like visually confused. It's CCTV. Like she goes, she holds the lemon. She goes like, what? Like I cut this in half. And then she cuts it again. Then she goes and reviews the camera footage from the CCTV and she saw that she actually cut it in half. She posted about this on her TikTok. She got banned. <laughs> no. She got banned by calling it the Matrix glitch. She got banned on TikTok. And then she used her mom's account and did repurpose the same videos and she got banned on her mom's account as well. Th that for me is very interesting because right. like, like, you know, Aliens and stuff like that. And, you know, even Elon Musk believes that we live in a simulation, right? Um, because he said that there's some proofs that are out there and you can see it and stuff. But that's very interesting because I saw the video that he had posted and it's on your, it's on your TikTok and Instagram, I think, also. Very interesting. And the idea behind it is like you've seen The Matrix, the movie, right? Is that we all live in a simil civil um, simulation and either... Aliens had done it or AI had taken over and we never realized. So that's a, that's a very interesting concept. When you talk about ghosts and stuff, right? And you say to me, bro, that's a very good point you say. That you say, if everything's fake, then what's real, right? Like, how can all of this coincidentally be fake? But I mean, it's like looking at Bigfoot, looking at all this. You know, if, it, if these people were talking about how... Oh, all the cabinets opened, all this happened. Why is there no government official, you know, investigation saying, by the way, yeah, this has happened. I know with, maybe it might spark some people going crazy or, you know, thinking the world's going to go over. Because There's actually one in, I think it was Russia. I don't remember exactly. Uh, they were doing like a mining operation and they had these devices that would pick up on sounds underground to find like, I don't know, the plates of earth moving or something. I don't know if you've heard about this or not. No. Are you talking uh, about the great um? 
I don't I don't remember the name. I heard this a long Everybody time ago. Everybody started running towards the mountains. No, no, this one is just an audio recording that they lowered this audio recorder device that's actually for their engineering purpose or whatever it is. And the audio it picks up is thousands of people screaming at the same time. And you can hear it. This video is on YouTube. Okay, that's good. Uh, if you want, I'll send you the link. You can proof it and like see if it's real or not because you're an expert between Just the give people. us 25% of the revenue. <laughs> yeah. But there are evidence if you want. But then oh, you can always say it's fake. But then, yeah. I mean, these are the kind of points you want to talk to with the guy who yeah, always Yeah, I wish I had stuff. the video ready so I can show it to you. I'll send you a link I mean, of it. I, I heard uh, something like this. Yeah. Have you heard of yeah, Juju and Ma'juj? Sorry, what? Gog and Magog. In the Bible, they're mentioned in several uh, religious uh, uh, scriptures. It, yeah. Gog and Gog Magog. and Magog in English. Okay. And in Arabic, it's Ya'juj wa Ma'juj. Okay. So they're pretty much, there are two tribes. Gog is one tribe. Magog is another tribe. They are trapped between two lands. Meaning today, they could be mountains. They could be very big valley, but pretty much they are still, they are like people, human beings that are still reproducing. So they are growing. You know, they're growing in size. They've been trapped since for thousands of years because I don't know the, the prophet that was involved in trapping them. I don't know how long ago his story was, but they've been involved for thousands of years growing. Okay. Um, and they will come out one day. And when they come out one day, they will destroy everything. That's what the Bible says. And that's what the Quran says as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so there are Christians that believe in this and Muslims. Muslims, of course, believe in this. So they could be Gog and Magog. Oh, honestly, they are I'm dangerous, sure. dangerous people. Where do you know the location approximately? Nobody like, knows where the location there, is. There's a movie. There's, I think, I think you were there, Ibrahim. We watched the movie. People say China, Persia, but nobody exactly knows where. Don't believe Persians. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Persians that say it, by the way. Oh, okay. Then. Maybe believe it. <laughs> <laughs> They're Persians. He's saying that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's between Tehran and. Shibuya. <laughs> No, but th there was a movie. I don't think. I think you were there. It was called "From the uh, the Upside Down" or something like that, where they go into the catacombs and they go further down and further down, and they actually go to the first level of hell, and that kind of stuff. It's very interesting. I mean, again, like those things. You see, th th those are more interesting to me. Like, you know, hearing hearing about that noise. Even there's one where they were shooting. Uh, they were listening. You know, so the U.S. Army has these pods that they put throughout all the oceans in the world. Because that's how they identify other ships, submarines, and they protect, protect themselves. And apparently they had heard a sound called the Great Om. So it's like a big sort of singular noise. Beastie, right? It, it doesn't sound beastie, but it's like it, it's coming from a creature. Like, whoa, something like that. Like an Om, like, like going mm, like that. Like, and they, they believe that it's a sound that could not be created by the Earth's crust. But it created some, but something by something that's very big. See, for me, that's more interesting. Like, if you think about it, we know more about space than we do about our own oceans. So there is the possibility of something be there, you know. And again, what, what about the Antarctic civilization? Have you heard of the civilization that we cannot get to? Like the how, like the conspiracy theory about how the North Pole is, nobody's allowed to go there and. How the Nazis moved there a very long time ago. You talking about the pyramid they, one or the no the un the civilization, the other side of humans that we are not connected with and they oh, live with us. Tell me about this. But they are under Antarctica. They are in another world under Antarctica. That's the theory. You know. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a that's a. Ha have you not heard about this ever? No, I haven't no. Heard the unconnected civilization. Honestly, I mean, lately, the, most of the conspiracies we've gone into has been like more UFO related. Why, why are we but, not allowed to go to the North Pole? Why is the US government and many and 26 other countries own that jurisdiction and they banned us from entering? From, from my understanding, everybody's from, not. From, from my understanding, that there is a military base, a US military base, and a Russian military base on each side. Why is it protected by 26 countries, Faisal? That's the, the question. I mean, that, that's the interesting thing, but also, I don't think humanly possible we would be able to survive unless we had very specialized kind of uh, gear yeah but you we... have to also take in consideration what he's saying is that like a separated sort of a civilization civilization and as human beings you adapt right so like if you think about people in russia people, people here and everything if you were to like compare them genetically we have all 
evolve and to to adapt to the environment that we're in. Yeah, I get you. What, I'm, I'm just thinking about polar bear men. <laughs> like, <laughs> just off the top, polar bear. And it's like the down is just a man. <laughs> just Putin with a half bear on top. <laughs> yeah. It's better than the horse <laughs> that he does. No, but you see, those are very good points. I mean, that's more interesting and more, I would say, a lot more concerning than, you know, oh, if you, if you, ghost if you talk bad about one or something like that's gonna come and get you like like he said that oh it's gonna attach to you and come to your house otherwise like you'd be carrying it around like covid or the, you know cut or, that part i don't up. know what you're talking about yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had an issue with that topic before yeah yeah <laughs> yeah no or like a disease just like that you know yeah you know i just realized that all four of us wear glasses Bro, so we many are, people wear glasses, by the way. We are four four blind men. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a, a church book. <laughs> Today, four blind men walk into a church. <laughs> four blind men and a mice. One of my friends today, like, uh, I, was, yeah, I was talking to him. He was I, I saw one of your friends. He's the guy with the glasses. I'm like, dude, be so much more specific. <laughs> you wear glasses. <laughs> like, like, everyone we know wear glasses. Honestly, in our that? group, is like saying the guy with the beard. Like, everyone has a beard. I'm like, it's, uh, that's, that's kind it's of a Mine is vain. It's, it's like, yeah, exactly. My girlfriend sometimes says, oh, have you, did you talk to Mohammed? I'm like, <laughs> I'll get back to you after 2.3 billion people I go through. Like, you know, it's. Check is, my phone book. It's Mohammed 1, 2, 3. Like. <laughs> no, but see, you, yourself, right? You going through. See, you, you brought something up we never heard of, that civilization. Like, for you, as someone who's gone through these conspiracies yeah. and these hauntings, are there any topics you are like, do you feel like you get the drive that you want to solve it? You know? Or there's anything that, for you, that's been pointed out like shit? Honestly, mm. yes. What I want to crack, bro, is if we are being, if we are living in an alien simulation. You know why? Yeah, I mean, it, it really pisses me off that there's a lot of my, our people, bro, Muslims, bro, from other countries, they're arrogant. They're like, no, Allah only created three beings angels, jinns, and humans, and animals. Like, bro, how, how can you be that arrogant? Because it, then there are other verses in the Quran, you know, if you want to bring up religion as a source, then there are other verses that could possibly translate to. There are other there are other beings, yeah. and I've made a video about this. In this whole universe, there are millions of galaxies, and we're just one out of thousands of planets in our galaxies. And outside our galaxies, there are millions of other galaxies that have thousands of planets. Are we the? Does the whole world evolve, evolve around, around us? us? That's that's not possible. I don't. I don't. Are we that the only sure. thing? Like have seriously. You, have you heard about the story in Brazil in 1995 or 6 about the alien uh, crash there? Have you heard this at all? I've heard about a lot of stories about how aliens crashed on This Earth. one, this guy spent, I think, 15 years, this journalist researching it, going door to door, talking to all the villagers. We Most probably next episode we're going to do on this, but the gist of the story is there is a crash by a spaceship or an unknown flying object. And the villagers go there, they see it, they see these creatures coming out of it that are asking for help, they're very feeble, all of that. The military closes the site. And <clears throat> have you heard of this one? This one, I'm going to tell you guys on a full episode like what all the documentary is about, but that is one of the craziest UFO stories I've heard about. They're watching us. They have the power to come here and actually study us. I mean, we are so primitive compared to them they do say that some of the sightings like you can sometimes correlate it with like some events in the history so when the atomic bomb went off that was one of the like the highest peaks of like the sightings right so they say that like whenever history like mankind kind of steps out of the branch and kind of does like something like extreme the sightings increase so they say they could be related to that, that yes, they are watching. And at the same time, they kind of want to keep it in place because they are aware of certain things in the timeline that we are not, like, theoretically. Like, well, I, I, yeah, I think... Yeah. I, sorry, you want to say something? No, 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 I'm just agreeing with what he said. So, I, I mean, again, aliens, it's... If you look at it in terms of mathematics, right? 
it's statistically impossible for there not to be life outside our Earth because of the sheer mass and size of our galaxy and universe, right? And if you guys, I don't know if you guys know, but they've proven that the universe started at a certain point, right? And the universe is expanding. The Big Bang. Yeah, so it's proven that they actually were able to prove that distances between planets are actually growing, right? And the thing is that with that, it means that our universe is only going to get a lot bigger and a lot lonelier because of the distance between growing so much, right? And the thing is that a lot of people tend to not believe in aliens because they're like, okay, we haven't seen them or, you know, um, if, if it was the case, why have we not seen civilizations moving around in space? But the thing is that because of the sheer vastness of the universe, you do know that light years, right, translates to, rather than it coming to us instantaneously like right now, if you turn the lights off, we all see black at the same time. The difference is, is that in the span of a universe to like another another galaxy to us there is a delay in time have you seen interstellar yeah so i think we all seen like, interstellar yeah they explained that theory yeah. no, so, so the thing is that what we're seeing right now in in our in our let's say night sky could no longer be there it could be millions of years old so we only get it in delayed sequences I think the bright shining star is actually a planet the, the star dying but yeah. it's died like so long ago but right now we're observing because of the difference of light years the, exactly and and that's the, the thing it's so vast that the fastest thing we know which is light is slow and the thing is that it's also vice versa so if there were aliens looking around and trying to see it would take them a long time to to be honest maybe they're looking here and they still see dinosaurs from that distance, you know? So that's one of the points as to why, you know, people don't believe in that. But I'm more convinced that, of course, there there has to be... When people believe aliens, they think little green men with big eyes and stuff. But you already have proof that life actually lives outside our planet. If you look at comets, comets carry bacteria. They're called space bears. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. No. Yeah? Very small <laughs> bacteria... Uh, Sounds like something you get in a dispensary in California. <laughs> <to be honest>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they should pick a better name for that. <laughs> but actually, if you check it out, like you go on Google and write, they literally are bacteria-sized little bears that just, <laughs> they've got like six legs and stuff, but they call them spa space bears or ice bears. And they carry themselves on comets because comets have what? The, the number one ingredients for life, water. So, I mean... Ourselves were made of all the elements you need that are found in space to make life. Carbon, all of these things. So it's... Yeah. I mean, wait, speaking of conspiracies, I, I want to talk about this conspiracy, but you said you have a story you want to share with us. Many stories. I have many stories. What kind of stories do you want to hear? The, no, it's like a merchant. <laughs> Come on, which one do you want? <laughs> I got Epstein. Yeah. If you really want to get into it, I got Oh, you want, to, you want to get into Epstein? <laughs> I'm down, but no, but you said something about the, the, they tried to create something oh, yeah, in the yeah, lab, yeah. so I want to... So I've seen videos. Uh, Japan is wanting to recreate... Oh, my God. Oh my God. God. <laughs> We've destroyed Japan on this one. <laughs> so <laughs> so so but so go many. for it. Go for okay, it. We, okay. have, we have a big Japanese so, audience. I need to make this clear, yeah? Because this, I've researched about this, and there's very minimal, very minimal links that you can access. Okay. So I've seen videos that Japan wanted to make real-life Pikachus, and they have. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Of course, Why Japan is uh, all these stereotypical jokes in my head are just firing. So right Nintendo, up. Nintendo wanted to take this project. For the past, I'd say seven, eight years, uh, they were extracting DNA from rabbits, hamsters, and eels. And I don't know what's the rate from each, but they made an animal that looks like a Pikachu. With it, it also has the uh, red the, red, the red cheeks, yellow <laughs> yellow body, and like black ears and like a black oh, nose, black <laughs> eyes. Why? <laughs> so five years after experiment, like after many fails, they they made the wrong animal. Right? They, they, they messed up. They re they created things. Uh, with the, like it's like a kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so. Five years later, uh, they have made this Pikachu, okay? 
the eel DNA that they extracted is because they wanted to give him zapping powers <laughs> like Pikachu. <laughs> Why give electricity? Like real electricity? Why are you like weaponizing this shit? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, rats are already terrifying enough. Have you seen them in New York? They <laughs> yeah. take children. You don't need to go to New York to see it. Go so, to Petra. <laughs> so listen, they so they got this. They made this animal. Yeah. And they wanted to test it out. It looks so cute. It's like so innocent, you know. Size wise, like size we're... with Pikachu, bro. <laughs> like, well, I've never seen it. You seen it? Like it's a chihuahua. Is that a real thing? Are we about like uh, this or like? Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, uh, like, or like, like, like <laughs> no, haven't you seen like high curvy Pikachu? Haven't you seen the Pikachu movie? Because they can no. like oh, they yeah. compare it with human size. Say, bro, right? Pikachu size, for example, okay. the size of a baby. Yeah. Pikachu size. Okay, it was no, a no, Pikachu no. size. I'm trying to like see because it's human like being? it's <laughs> like because it's third hamster, it's third eel, and it's third rabbit. So it's like the same size as a hamster plus rabbit. You could say okay with eel powers. You know, <laughs> yeah. this so, is so crazy. He will become a god amongst his people. Like what I think, <laughs> bro. They wallah it looks exactly like Pikachu, bro. They brought this thing home, and they wanted to test it out as a pet in a household. He was so like vulnerable, cute, you know. Is he doing this? Like <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> so one day <laughs> these people go out, they come back home, their dog is dead. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is so territorial, bro. <laughs> this thing is so violent. And then people are like, if we created Pokemons and we made Pokemons real. Real. Yeah. <laughs> we would be doomed, bro. <laughs> bro they are so an powerful. Cart, like, no, 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 I just like how Ibrahim was like, it was so polite. Like, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and then like you leave. <laughs> <"Sayana." laughs> like, bye bye, dog. And then they, the vet actually, you know, did the whole forensic on how the dog died. And, <laughs> <laughs> and the dog's heart just stopped. That's what they found out. He was, zapped, okay, he was barbecued zapped, the dog. <laughs> he was like, He's Imagine killed the dog. genetically, he's like remembering all the previous experiments that like got <laughs> killed done. because like, and yeah. he's like the I'm, final. I'm gonna version. pay someone to take this video and make it animated with just Ibrahim's face as the as the, as Pikachu, the Pikachu, and it goes. I just zapped him. Finish. He died. You know. He didn't say it with the accent. Like, no, I'm putting it. I'm putting it because he was like, "Faisal oh, has been cooking me." No, no, it's just funny because I can imagine. Like, can you imagine scientists go? We've just created something that can electrocute people. Let's take it home. Yeah. You know, and, it's a pet, <laughs> and, and and it's a rat mixed with a rabbit and an eel. It's gonna be very calm. And then there's a dog. Like I feel like if they just didn't add the eel part, it would have been okay. I mean, rats are not. Yeah, but even if it's that size without the zapping power, he can still like stomp it out. But the zapping power Depends really on the dog man. Dogs are. Still, it's a rat without zapping power. Yeah, for but like, yeah, you know, how does it do it? Does it go like? <laughs> it's not a I magic show, bro. It goes to you and it just does this. <laughs> that would be terrifying. Yo, that would be like, good <laughs> use in ambulances. Just be like Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu hit. <laughs> I've always, as a kid, well, yeah, it turned out to be very violent and territorial. Is what did they do? Did they uh, I kill? Think, no, they didn't kill them. They just caged all of them, bro. Oh, yeah. How many all of them? <laughs> Look, yeah, they made, they made a bunch. They made a batch of them. Yeah. Bro, imagine. Yo, <laughs> that's the point. This is Pikachu <laughs> number one. Bro, did you hear what he said? Like, they made a batch two? of them. All this batch is then good. Put it back bro, inside. Bro, imagine the one that killed the dog. That's the best one out of all of them. So imagine the rest that are in the cage. What the fuck kind of <laughs> crazies are those? They're just zapping each other. Electroshock therapy, <laughs> just like all. Yo, different. actually, put them in cages and do a fight match of it, and stream that shit online. People can. That's bet literally on the game. <laughs> That's the game. game. Yeah. No, oh that's shit. Pokemon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. No, I was talking about like the, you know how a cockfight is. You put the roosters against each other. Yeah. They put them against each other, and people like a bunch of twelve-year-olds that never went to, high, to school because you know Ash left in the show. He's been like twelve for forty-five years, and then they finally <laughs> retired him. Yeah. It's, so I everyone makes this joke that the kid's illiterate because at 12 years old, he left home and never went to school and ne didn't have money, didn't have nothing like that. So they're like, imagine an actual kid going through that. That's the more of the story. Uh, yeah, exactly. yeah. Stay in school. Stay kids. in school. Exactly. <laughs> like, don't try to but one, one of the DNA uh, things that they have, I don't know how they did that, was to make it friendly with kids. And it worked. That worked out pretty. Probably a little bit of Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> Right, wrong kind of friendly, bro. Right. Why does Pikachu keep grabbing my son's leg <laughs> and zapping his ball sack? Like, <laughs> you like? You want to meet Trump? 
You want me to Bro, in 10 years, you go to Thailand, it's all Pikachus. Everyone's out of business, you know? They're just standing <laughs> in a corner. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Pikachus on corners, you want to get zapped? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's... Uh, you know, the police use it to just chuck it at you when they want to tase you. you know? <laughs> but that, that's 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 a crazy story. I mean, I, I need to... I like to read about this. Can you imagine, like, how Nintendo fucked up? Yeah, we... Don't ask about that. <laughs> <laughs> Done. You want a, a Game Boy? <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> All right, let's go uh, to your Epstein thing. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> Speaking of... <laughs> Speaking you of brought Epstein. him up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, we all know what Epstein did and everything, right? Like, are we... Like, should we... I'm pretty sure... Everyone yeah, yeah, knows yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Briefly. So, yeah. what do you think about his death? He was murdered, no? Supp- apparently, it was quote-unquote Okay, so the but. official line, from what I remember, was that he hung himself... But the circumstances that made it kind of suspicious was that the CCTV camera in the hallway didn't work. The security guard was on break. And And he said, I would never kill myself. He said that. And also on top of that, they said that he hung himself with like an extra pair of clothing, like the jail outfits they have. But you wouldn't give that to someone that's on suicide watch because they moved him to a suicide watch section. Which tends to be secluded. Yeah. yeah, and also a third party doctor that did the autopsy on him, they said that the way that his neck, the bruising on his neck is not consistent with someone that hung himself from like a, I don't know, jumping from a bunk bed or something. Okay, like so that. he got killed. That's what we know for sure. <laughs> that's I mean, yeah. I'm not believing that he committed suicide for sure. Yeah. Like, there's no way. Like, yeah. And apparently he had a roommate. Like a bunk mate. Or whatever well, he's, he wasn't cellmate. supposed to, but they put someone in his cell Did by mistake. Did you see a picture of the yeah. guy? No, they, no. S- they said they're not supposed to be alone. They should put someone in the room. He was on oh. suicide watch, yeah. but the CCTV kind of glitched, you know, <laughs> a bit of a... It's my time. Glitch kind of <laughs> shit happened. It's Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it is Big Daddy. The dude's fucking big, dude. Really? Yeah. Not the gin. <laughs> he's like, he's relax. Like, <laughs> like nine feet. I don't know how he died. It's like, why are your hands so tight? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was sleeping when it happened. He's like sweating. There's actually a lot of conspiracies around Epstein. The one I know of, I mean, it's not proven, but they think that he was a agent for Mossad, the Israeli equivalent of CIA. I don't know. And uh. what I've heard, I mean, I don't I don't I mean, have any details on it, but let me, let me say this then you can. Yeah. So what they think is he would bring important people, scientists, all of that to the island let them do what they were doing with the children and film them and then use that to blackmail, blackmail them on about unknowingly on the behalf of the Israeli government. But then again, there's no actual proof. There's no like paperwork that they revealed or any of yeah, that. Be- because he, he pleaded not guilty and then he was on suicide watch and awaiting trial, he hung himself. Yeah. And the other person... Like that was helping him. It was his associate, uh, Jelaine Maxwell. I think I have the name here. It's, Isn't that his it's girlfriend? A yeah, it's a woman. Yeah, it's a woman. Yeah. No, it, it's they were dating, girlfriend. but not like they were broken up. After. Oh. You know, it it's like, hard to date a fifty-year-old woman when you're into twelve-year-olds. You know, that makes it difficult. <laughs> That's like five times the difficult part. <laughs> <laughs> That's <was> dark, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but I've she, seen, yeah. she got <laughs> shit show, bro. Child. Yeah. And found it guilty and sentenced to 20 years of uh, prison. But the case is closed. Yeah. There's no list, Further, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. So, like, she got trialed and found guilty with no documentation. There's, so, the list is still not there. No, no, the list is there. No, no, no. I remember she mentioned that she could bring people forward. Yeah, then everything went private. Yeah, it went quiet. All the court yeah. cases, everything went private after that. The list that you're talking about is the how leaked. they found out about it is like they were um, like big wire transfers of like funds to Epstein that they could not find a reason. Like they could not justify it. Like why did you pay this guy $50 million? I needed his consult. That's that's the case right now. Actually, at the current time, Elon Musk is being subpoenaed yeah. to hand over documents in terms of J.P. Morgan because J.P. Morgan was. Oh my god! The- I thought you were gonna say Epstein's Island, like not him. No, too. no, no, not him. Yeah. Like, uh, I guess. He doesn't I think like I, him. I think there's some correlation yeah. with no, Epstein. So the correlation between them is the fact that like Epstein apparently 
wanted to consult Elon Musk in terms of his funds through JP Morgan. And JP Morgan is now being accused of funding the sex trafficking business and being involved in it. Bro, they, they, bro JP Morgan had an oil tanker that had cocaine in it. Did you guys see that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I heard like, about that. Like, like, it's not surprising that an organization like that, and, you know, when you go back to the point of uh, these organizations, JP Morgan and stuff, have never been, eth like, ethically clean. You know what I mean? They've never had that, okay, we believe that we should stay by something. It's about making money, you know? And making money, whichever way is making money, you know? And when you talk about Epstein, the whole game for him, the, the mafia used to do it in, in, in the US. Italian mafia used to go around, take a congressman, let him have a good time. You know, he probably had a wife and stuff, so they got him somewhere private. They would film tape, film him with women. And, you know, you even see it in the movies. Sometimes they would even uh, give, get him drugs and he'd go crazy and kill the, the woman he was with. And they'd say, listen, don't worry, we're going to cover this up. But, but then they you have owe us. get yeah. leverage on them. Yeah, I mean, look, think of it. Like, even look at the amount of people that were, because he he had such, you know, when you have powerful friends, you only make more powerful friends. That was one of his strongest influences, the circle around him. Yeah. Like the people were around him, all like ex presidents, like. But big about scientists. about his island and the guests that he had on the island, the, the newest, like newest list was actually very recently leaked. Specific celebrities by name, like Eminem, like there are a lot of people. Oh, no, Beyonce, like too. a lot of people. Oprah was there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. You was get there. a child. <laughs> you get a child. You all get a child. <laughs> yeah, Eddie Murphy was there. Ellen DeGeneres. You know, one of the very few billionaires that I really respect because he's the only one of the very few that's not been on this island. Donald Trump. Donald Trump hates Epstein. Was never his friend. I will tell you not. Actually, Donald Trump because has Donald a, Trump's name was not on that list. I can tell you, he was never. I wait. He was never on the, the suspects. Island. He was never on the island. Well, the terms of the black book, let's say that the list was on, right? Yeah. So there are a lot of suspicions of who is on it and everything like that. But Donald Trump himself is one of the. First of all, he had a long-term friendship with Epstein. 15 years, yeah. 15 yeah, years. 15 years. Actually, I have the exact quote from Donald Trump here. I'm not going to do the voice. I know. It's like, <laughs> it says, I've known Jeff for 15 years. Terrific guy. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific guy. <laughs> He's a lot of fun to be with. <laughs> it is even said, this is him saying it, quote unquote. It is even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do. And many of them are on the younger side. No doubt about it. You know, Bardia's paper came in clutch. <laughs> like, legit. Yes, I have evidence. something to prove you and wrong, bro. The only time Trump we had a fact is, on this podcast. Trump <laughs> also disses pedophiles. Trump talks shit about this yeah. guy and that guy. I mean, well, who doesn't? Still, he talks talk shit about it. He, he talks shit about everyone. He talks shit about people from Hollywood, like, by names. Oh, they, they did this and that with children. How, like... And his name wasn't on the list, so... Damn, I never knew he was friends with him for bro, 15, 15 years. years it was, bro. bro, 15 years. Holy. There's videos. There's videos of tr young Trump with Epstein, and they're at a, a wedding or something, and he's like has his arm over him, and yeah, yeah. It's Why was he never on the island? But the assumption that he was never on the island is an assumption. But there's a high chance that he was actually on the island because the use of the private jet of Epstein, Trump's on that list. Like, oh, the jet. Bro, okay. where's where the jet going to? Let's take a quick fuel stop at the. Does does, does Ep, did Epstein have an airport in his island? Yeah, yeah, he had like a small tarmac or whatever. Oh, there was yeah. definitely a landing strip. Like you can't, you, you <laughs> don't. They didn't boat the children in. Like, <laughs> like Yo, Pinocchio, those are the kids. <laughs> <laughs> the whale opens yeah. up. Like no, no, but but yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people have been called out on this. Dude. Even Tom Hanks. No one went there one as much as Clinton, though. That's why <laughs> he went there 26 times. Are there any Arabs that have been there? Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton? I'll tell you off mic. Uh, off mic? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but another thing, one thing I was going to say about the whole scientist thing. So Epstein's method was that he obviously, like all the people that he was associated with, a lot of people, and he funded a lot of people, right? And like Prince Andrew was on the list, by the way. Great the, guy. Who's that? 
Chris Andrew? Papa Queen royal Elizabeth's family. Elizabeth's cousin or something like that. Yeah, and they took away his uh, his, la- his estates title. And all this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he he's was still number there's... eight in uh, Line of the Throne. Yeah, by I know, way. but there's actual pictures of him in the island with the girls. So that one is like. Did you know Epstein has a painting of Clinton in a blue dress in in his mansion in the island? Really? <laughs> oh, so shit. it could be a painting based on imagination. Why is Bill Clinton such a meme, bro? Why is he like? He, I mean, he, he was a naughty wife? guy. Huh? Yeah, let's say just he was a <laughs> naughty guy. He's one of the guys. You know what I mean? Like the way he is like, yeah, I did not have sexual relations with her. And then like Michael five minutes Lewinsky. later. He, <laughs> yeah. And then like five minutes later, he's leaving office because he did have. And, I mean, and, and, you know, I mean, everyone knows that, like, his wife is a piece of worker. I mean, I'm a big so, fan of this actor, but he's also one of the people on the list, and we can not be surprised by it. Uh, Kevin Spacey was on the list. But Kevin Spacey is kind of a genius. He's kind of a genius. Why? Because when he got... When he got hit with the allegation, he was like, by the way, I'm gay. I'm, gay. I'm like, no fucking shit. You diddle the little boy, bro. Like, like what the fuck? <laughs> no, but I think you said that in the latest list, there was a lot of entertainers, right? I think Ellen that DeGeneres. could be that. Uh, they, they were paid to put on a show, like, yeah, like a comedy, I think, com- stand-up comedy or something like that. I think it can't be all of these. Yeah, words. because Chris Tucker was there yeah, on yeah. the list as well. Yeah, I saw that. So, Maybe he wasn't actually into that business. Maybe he was just paid to put on a the performance. Show. Yeah, I think that's more likely with all like the Ellen singers and, and like the, yeah. no, Ellen. No, no, no. Yeah. Ellen is one of that. <laughs> what is yeah. Ellen gonna do no. there, <laughs> bro? Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen when Justin Bieber was on Ellen? Do you Which know that time? Justin Bieber was actually a victim, right? Of P Diddy. Oh, you, oh, bro. This Wait, is, what? This, this is huge, bro. Listen. Puff. Have P- you seen? Have you heard don't. of P Diddy's Candy Did- Mansion, something like that? No. P. Diddy Candy House, P. Diddy no. Candy, whatever. No. P. Diddy would find young performers, young artists, and he would bring them in his house and he would show them the la- lavish lifestyle and all of that. Like groom them, basically. And groom them, yeah. And I don't know what happens in return. Usher was the first one. Usher was one of the first performers that P. Diddy found. He made Usher famous. But Usher hard. was a victim of P. Diddy. P. Diddy. Later, many years later, P. Diddy found Justin Bieber. He saw his videos online. Was and, it know, P. Diddy or Usher who found... Uh, P. Diddy found Usher. Usher is young. No, no, but Usher found... Uh, Usher signed Justin, Timber, uh, Justin Bieber. Yeah, but... I mean, I mean it falls, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. falls under... Yeah, they fall under that. The Godfather, person. you know. The so <laughs> that's how, how it started with Justin Bieber. P. Diddy was the person that actually took in Justin Bieber and, you know, showed him the lifestyle. And brought him to the to his house, and we don't know what happened. Then um, Justin Bieber released a song very recently. What is it called? Candy, Candy, right? Have you heard the song Candy? It's very popular. No. In the song, he throws these messages. He throws these messages that Hollywood are pedophiles, all of them, Hollywood and the music industry. I mean, it's like that. That's one of the biggest. And he choking. shows in the video, in the music video, that he was a victim of pedophilia by that industry. He shows it in the music video. Is it like obvious? A sort of message that you can it's take a message from it. That or? is it's so obvious. It was an obvious message, and you can like he also spoke about it, bro. Justin Bieber spoke about it, Jeez. and then he just disappeared for a year. I don't know if you remember that whole thing that happened with his half of his face was. Yeah. This is, but anyways. He was invited immediately on the Ellen show after that music clip was out by a few months. She says, so that music clip of the song Candy, he was like, yeah, yeah. And he like he was like super being super sarcastic and you can, you can tell that he was pissed off. Mm-hmm. He was not happy. So please explain. I mean, you know what it is. He keeps telling her that. And she looks at him with like, a, like an angry look. But like, why'd you do that music video? But like, you know what it is. I don't have to talk about anything. Shit. Damn. But are we surprised that Hollywood is made up with powerful pedophiles? I mean, like... I mean, you saw bro. R. Kelly and like all the tapes and the documentaries Yo, R. that Kelly? came R. out. R. Kelly is like the smallest one out of them. You have like, what is his name? Oh. Harvey Weinstein. Oh, all these guys. <laughs> I, for me, it's different when it's Did children. You like Harvey the... Weinstein wasn't with children. Yeah, but R. Kelly was with children. <laughs> That's different. Did you know R. Kelly's like the writing, like the when they scripted it, like his interview? No, the 
how he was having a sexual re- relationship with like a 14 year old girl like the script if you read it he's like tell me your 14 year old like shit like that is like oh, yeah, wants yeah, yeah. to be set up by him like it's bro he would wear diapers in his parties with like a bunch of like uh 14 year olds and then piss himself and then piss on the women or the girls it was just if you haven't watched that documentary on netflix on r kelly i definitely recommend watching it that one I was believe ins- I can pee. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's... Did you see his interview where he like starts crying? He's yeah, talking yeah, to that woman. He's like, they're break. trying to kill me. Yeah. The craziest, well, not the craziest part was he tried to, like there was a tape of him being with under, he tried to blame it on his, like he was trying to put it on his brother, saying that it's not me, it's my brother. To send his brother to jail. Damn, no lie, no it's over there. Yeah, man. and his he suggested his brother before he did that that oh like, hire my lawyer and everything, and the lawyer, lawyer was trying to sabotage his brother, so he takes the blame and he goes oh, away. Can you imagine man. doing that to your own like? I mean, if you play on fourteen year olds, I guess yeah, there's not a lot of like moral boundaries. This guy's <laughs> not trying to like break here. Uh, I'm not really surprised about human beings, especially with how how messed up they could be, right? It's 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 the Pikachu's and these kind of stuff <laughs> that really like make me sit. You up only at said night. that when I put an ice cream. <laughs> <in my mouth. laughs> yeah, I want to suck on an ice cream because <laughs> my mouth is dry. Uh, Does that sound wrong? I was gonna no, say definitely. Epstein would love you. I said, uh, my <laughs> mouth is so dry. I'm just gonna get these ice cubes. Can't a man suck on an ice cube, bro? No, but I'm talking about oh, you want to do as a part. <laughs> The oh. cuties will come after you. <laughs> no, but <laughs> uh, uh, one thing I was it's like playing <laughs> candy. <laughs> <laughs> the the thing I was gonna say about like the Epstein, the scientist part, is that because he was a person who funded a lot of people, a lot of scientists gathered around him and were part of the circle because scientists need funding to for the lab for the experiments that they're doing, and the process of getting a fund approved. And usually this is like based on an actual scientist who was talking about it, who was saying that like generally, like when a fund gets like approved for a scientist to do an experiment, it's for something that's been pre-experimented. It's not something new. Mm -hmm. So he was a person who was saying, if you want to try this in your lab, here's the amount of money that you need and go for it, you know? So in that case, that's how he managed to gain gather a lot of scientists in the circle around them as well. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he did good by... You're, you're, you're kind of saying that. You're kind of no, saying I'm saying that that's one of the reasons why no, no, scientists he's were around excusing the scientist part, like not the, the Bill Clinton. I'm not saying the... none of them wanted to do little kids, but like I'm saying... <laughs> they, gave, they gave him a goodie bag. Thanks for coming. There's a little kid in it. <laughs> <laughs> there are like two legs hanging out of it. <laughs> like, still trying to run away. Nah, bitch. <laughs> but, but I did hear that argument, you know, like... Although all these things happened, a lot of grants were given. <laughs> I'm thinking of the goodie bag with the feet. <laughs> yes, imagine that. <laughs> but you put it like it's like a suitcase, like wheels, like it just gives. <laughs> but um, okay, l- let's see. Let's see if if you know this, Ibrahim. Mm. This one's another conspiracy out there. It's kind of old. It's from the U.S. Mm. Have you heard of the Mothman? Mothman. Yes. Moth. <laughs> So you haven't heard of it, okay? So in 1966, in West Virginia, sounds like I'm about to start a song. Song, (laughs) yeah. West Virginia. Virginia. Take me home. So, so, you know, there's crypto, what is it called? Cryptozopia? So it's basically the study of like, it's the study of Bigfoot, um, all of these kind of creatures that are in the West. Leprechauns. I mean, (laughs) leprechauns, I don't feel like, is in that category but it's like there's like hellhounds and all this kind of stuff so there was one very very interesting one because it actually had a a actual event that happened and they believe that so the mothman started in 1966 where in west virginia uh people couples is it like the slender man is it the same or the boogeyman so it's similar to that but imagine you're driving down like a dark alleyway or you're driving down a, a dark street or in the woods and you see in front of the headlights of your car, a seven-foot black creature with wings. It's a humanoid, so it basically has human anatomy, but huge wings. So it looks like sort of like the devil, right? <laughs> I feel like Faisal is just, <laughs> he's just talking about himself. <laughs> Seven foot, huge, black with man. wings. <laughs> I mean, I was, <laughs> I mean, you are seven foot. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. 
Ja. Ah, Deutsch. Zo hard dit dan. Het is Big Daddy, actually. <laughs> It's Faisal and Big Daddy behind him. <laughs> <Really? laughs> Double this, yeah. So, the Mothman was seen in 1966, right? And a couple had first seen it, and they said that when when the the headlights went into his eyes, you could only see two glowing red eyes of the of the creature. And when they swerved off the road, it turned around and flapped its wings and started following them. And it went over the car and screeched so loud that they started to get dizzy, right? And they went to the local sheriff and they said to him, listen, you know, this happened. And he was skeptical and he was like, you know, it must have been a heron, which is like a really big, cr you know, a crane, the, the bird with the long legs. Because some of them in the West can be kind of big, right? They thought of it as nothing, but they said that when they looked into its eyes, they felt like they were taken under control. Like they were losing control of their bodies. It's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and... People kept seeing it, and they kept seeing it go near a bridge, right? And the name of this bridge, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was called the Silver Bridge, right? And it was it was one year ex like it was one year exactly after they had seen the first one that a lot of people started seeing this Mothman that would be on top of the bridge and just like looking at people, and whenever it would stare at you, it's like its eyes were huge and it would just like pierce into your soul. So a lot of people kept seeing it. And, and on the day they didn't see it, the bridge collapsed. And it killed 46 people. Yeah, it killed 46 people, and it was like the most catastrophic bridge failure ever because that was the largest people, amount when of people who had this? died. This was in 1967. Yeah? And a lot of people were saying they saw it and they would have dreams about it later on. And it would always make this loud noise and screech. And this is where a movie came out called The Mothman Prophecies. Right? Has it been seen? <coughs> has it been seen since? They say they do see it, and it always comes at a bad time. Like something's gonna happen. It's a bad omen. They believe that it's one of either a devil or something like that that comes out when it's it's like a harbinger of doom, because on the exact bridge it was being seen at is where it collapsed. Like the bridge collapsed later on. So we have many Mothmans in my neighborhood <laughs> called Chemex. <laughs> <laughs> Just I don't think they're <laughs> seven feet tall, though, are they? They <laughs> <laughs> usually are, <laughs> from you, my experience. They usually so. hang out in the Mall of the Emirates. <laughs> 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 they screech. <laughs> 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 they don't have piercing eyes, from my experience. <laughs> Why does all these all these prophecies only exist in the States? When it's a UFA, UFO crash, it's always in the States, for some reason. Uh, Everything happens in the US. Area really. 51, it's only in the, it happened in the States. Bigfoot, States. Actually, like Bigfoot is proven. It's Russia. midget people states. No, in Russia midget. there is actually Bigfoot, but they call it Sasquatch. Midget? Or the, the, the tiny creatures. Oh, I thought you were talking about regular midgets. Yeah, so no, these, we have those. Well, I've seen a video, like, you know one of these, like, Nokia phone old videos? Like, you know they're real. Like, they're not fake. Yeah. This thing running around the house, bro. This the one big. with the long hair? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro, yeah, what I've the seen, hell is yeah, that? I don't know. They were speaking Persian, bro. They are speaking Farsi. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear. I swear I swear I bro, wallah. On, it's I will put my money. This yeah. is not a fake video. This is real. So wait, it was like a... A tiny creature with human face. It looks like a face. doll. Like a very, very tiny. Like, like not Jackie. normal midget. Bro. Yeah. Kind bro, of. this big. Yeah. Human face. Also, did you see when it was asleep? Like the guy had it on his uh, on no, his chest. No, I didn't see that part. It like would open his eyes and like he would see the like black eyes, like human face, like baby face, with like tiny hands with with five fingers on each. Wait, hold solo. <laughs> so it's like a mini <laughs> mini guy, mini right? person. This it's big. like a midget of a midget. Basically. But when it runs, it would freak you out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes that sound, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but you know tiny like I'm let's do that again <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine hearing that at 3am imagine that Honey? one fighting <laughs> the Pikachu bro, but oh my god but did you see how fast it was yeah, running yeah, yeah. from corner to corner you're not gonna be scared because if you step out of bed you might step on it so like it's not bro, you know what they say a, a child's laughter is the most beautiful thing unless you're at home at 3am and you don't have a kid <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean like you're sitting there ah! What the f Yo, by the way, <laughs> I heard that shit. That shit freaked me the fuck out. It was a kid in the hallway, obviously. Like, <laughs> like uh, but I was at home. I was talking to Nat, and like all of a sudden, I hear I'm like, you heard that, right? And she's like, yeah. Bro, when I was in the UK, when I was in student house, like one of the years, we got a house with a couple of mates. And then uh, in the attic, you know how the British houses, they have the attics, right? I thought you said we got a house with a couple of maids. I'm That's like, what I heard. <laughs> I was like, no, mates, mates. No, but <laughs> mates. this one, you can, you know, our friend Hossam, but this 
the, I wasn't the only person hearing them. I was on the second floor. Every night you could hear footsteps, like someone running across the attic, and it was like short footsteps. It was sounded like a kid running. And I checked that place like 15 times. There was no one there. It was, probably Every, like chukab- chuk- it was to the chukabra. point that my friend... Chukabra. Hola, man. What's up? I'm in the wrong city, man. I'm Mexican. To be honest, if I heard that noise, I'd shit myself scared, but I'd also laugh because I'd see it. Stomping out. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. But the funny thing is that why is it always when you watch movies about little kids, ghosts, they're always British? Did you yeah. notice that? The accent adds a layer to it, you know? <laughs> if they sound like they're from Louisiana, you'd just be like, shut up, you retard. You have, you come from too much incest. Imagine like, you go there. Do you know my papa? <laughs> yeah. Imagine Hannibal okay. Lecter. Imagine like the hello, Clarice. Like, howdy, Clarice. <laughs> like, you're never going to be intimidated about a fucking song. Howdy, man. <laughs> but yeah, those, those, those kind of bootleg videos, those old ones are the creepiest ones. Yeah. The Seriously. Creepiest. There was one, have you seen it? It was like somewhere in, I think, Egypt or something, of something crawling on a wall, a building, and like going into people's houses. Uh, and that one was out. fake. That but one, you saw it, right? Yeah, was, yeah, that one was fake. It was well done. You were talking about my, what, what, the dinosaur thing? <laughs> Pterodact- Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl, okay? Uh, Those are real. They were, they were No, real. no, they were real. Yeah. And, he, and he, you know, he, when... There was when, footage of one bro, flying. Bro, when he posted this one, yeah, I was like, no. It can't be that the guy, he's got an eye for it, so he'll like talk about it. Bro, this pterodactyl was CGI. No, was it was not. It was proven that it was not CGI. Uh, Habibi, you got the proof from what? From, from a guy CGI who, uh, experts. Bro, bro, the CGI expert was a YouTube comment. And that guy was like, yeah, I uh, work. And he is in animation. That's his field. I looked him up. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to comment on your next thing and write, I am Donald Trump, really. And I'm going to be like, by the way, that's true. Aliens do exist. I was there, Area 51. <laughs> but the thing is that, bro, if you watch the video, it's like the pterodactyl, imagine being so big, it's just flapping its wings like this. Yeah? And then it looks down. Like, he looks like he's dropped something. The pterodactyl dropped something. And he's still flying normally. And then he goes, it keeps flying. I'll tell you why. Some, some, something else. Uh, so there was another YouTuber, big YouTuber, that pretty much fact-checks, vi- fact-checks videos. He talked about this one and he sent it to an actual, actual CGI expert that sent him a video back responding. He said that this is not CGI, but it's fake. He called it fake because he said that this is a kite and he showed a sample of a kite that looks exactly the same, same size, but it does not really fly the oh, same with way. The manipulation he said of that, how yeah, it's flying over. The, like. Yeah, it cannot be CGI. It okay. cannot be. So it's not CGI. It's not CGI, but, but it's then fake. they showed the kites that are similar to this one. They're not. They're not realistic as this one. This was like w- way more perfect. I gotta kind of got to see the video. Like I, I'll show it to you, man. Yeah. For me, it's like I've always been really good to see C- CGI. Like I've always been really good to see it, and uh, for me, it looks like just really bad CGI. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, all right, guys. On that note, let's end the episode. Uh, Give us your Instagram name and everything. Put on the screen if you want to say it to the camera. Yeah, say it. Brahim uh, underscore K. YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. Instagram. All right. Thank you very much for joining thank us. For thank you for coming, thank man. We really hope that it. you had fun and we can I have you fun, back yeah, again. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, you thank want you. me back? Yeah. All, of course, the, all podcasters man, say the same shit, bro, but they never bring me back. Bro, if you want <laughs> next step, next time we do the UFO in Brazil that I have full research oh, on, nice. we'll bring you on. Actually, you know what we'll can... do? We'll bring you when we go to the haunted house. I, I would love to. Yeah. When I would you, not come. Yeah, me, you sound <laughs> like you're going <laughs> alone, bro. <laughs> we'll, we'll put a GoPro on your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll take yeah if you're not scared, go alone. You know what we'll do? Come we'll here, big daddy. <laughs> 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 you know what would be funny? Bought a lube in his left hand, <laughs> tissues in his right hand. <laughs> you know what would be funny? You're all sitting here and there's like a Zoom camera. <laughs> Guys, I'm in the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. We'll talk about it. Later. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of the podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any suggestions for future episodes or how we can do this better. As you all know, we're new at this. And don't forget to follow us on uh, social media channels. I'll put them right here. All right. All right. See you guys. See you guys next week. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Peace.